Over the years, Google has improved and optimized the process that Android smartphones and tablets go through in order to install and update applications and games via the Play Store application. We've actually seen the Play Store receive a big update recently as far as the user interface goes for both the Manage Apps and Device page as well as the new settings area. But one of the new changes Google is also pushing out is an app install optimization method. And since this app install optimization is sending data back to Google, I wanted to take this video to show you how to disable this and prevent your phone from sending data to Google about this app optimization process. So earlier this year, some people within the Android community started to see this new setting in their Google Play Store. And what happens is whenever you open up the Play Store, eventually you're going to be greeted with a note that says Google is optimizing app installs with your help. And then they tell you that the app optimization is automatically turned on However, you can turn this off in the settings and instead of linking you to where you can turn this off, they simply just allow you to tap the OK button to dismiss the message. Now to give you a, an idea of what's going on here, Google has announced and confirmed that this new change will improve the app install time as well as the load times whenever people are opening up these new applications. And how ironic the Google support page says whenever you turn on app install optimization. But again, it's being turned on automatically. This is not an opt-in feature. So if you do not want to participate in this, then you're going to need to disable it as shown in this video. So we can see here, once the app install optimization is turned on, your phone or tablet will then tell Google which parts of the application you are accessing and in what order after you first open up the application once it is installed. So Google is collecting this information on your device and it's going to be crowdsourcing this information with millions, possibly billions of other app install data points from other people so that they can optimize these apps. Now, of course, it is important to note Google says this feature does not collect any personal information such as your name or email address, and it does not look at anything outside of the app such as other apps or content on your device. Now, whether you believe or trust Google on this, that's up to you. Again, I'm here to show you how to disable this, and we're gonna do that by first opening up the settings application and going to the main screen. From here, you're likely going to be seeing the new user interface for this. So instead of the hamburger menu icon at the top left, we need to tap on the profile picture icon in the top right. And then we're going to be selecting the settings option down there at the bottom. From here, we're going to be tapping on the general drop down menu. And if you have app install optimization enabled, and allowed on your phone, you're going to see it in this general section. Now, when I was looking at my daily driver, my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I do not have this app install optimiz optimization feature yet on that phone. This phone right here is the Pixel 4a running Android 12. I'm not exactly sure if Android 12 is a requirement for this feature just yet. But right now I'm only seeing this on my Android 12 device. Let me know in the comments section below if you're seeing this feature on other 
Android devices that are not Android 12. And just as it looks, we simply have to disable this feature right here. Again, you're going to see that toggle next to the app install optimization section. If you do not see this, then the feature has not rolled out to your device yet. And you're going to want to check this at a later date. But once we have disabled this toggle, we are done and our phone is no longer going to be sending this type of data to Google servers. So that's how to disable Google's new app install optimization feature that's currently rolling out through the Google Play Store on Android.